so I am down here at the Ohio River on a beautiful spring afternoon enjoying a fishing excursion. And before I get to the topic of this video, I want to extend my sincere appreciation for all the fellow new subscribers that I have accrued over the winter and over the spring. It's been a little bit since I made a video. And I want to welcome you guys to the channel and thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for making comments and thank you for hitting that like button because it's tremendously important. This is a very uh, restricted, for right now, regime on part of my curriculum as an artist. But I intend on expanding it soon. That said, a question was put forth to me about what denomination, Christian denomination, do I feel has got it all right? And my answer to that is simple. <laughs> what Christian church has everything right and everything accounted for? None. Is there a denomination out there that is superior to everybody else's? The answer is most definitely no. If you find yourself in the unique position of searching for a church, I have two questions in order to break this topic down. One is, are you new to the Christian faith? Is church something that is alien to you? Is the study of scripture something that is alien to you? If the answer is yes, then maybe this video is not for you. You should seek the guidance of more qualified clergymen and church people other than myself. I'm just a guy that writes. I'm a guy that is an artist. I'm a guy that films. I'm a guy that makes off-the-wall videos. I'm a guy that photographs strange things and unique things and adventurous things. I'm not your person. If your answer is something to the effect that you are in the process of joining a new church because you find no fulfillment no more in the church that you presently belong to. Here comes a guy on a boat. It's great down here. There's all kind of stuff going on. I am sorry about the imposition, and I am going to focus on these kinds of things from time to time in this video, so please bear with me. Uh, if you are that person who is struggling to find another church, then you also need to you know get with somebody a bit more qualified than myself that said i break it down into a couple of things when i'm if i would find myself in that position the first thing you need to understand is all of these churches roman catholicism eastern orthodoxy and all protestant churches base their doctrines on hermeneutics and if you know what hermeneutics is you know where i'm coming from what is hermeneutics that is the study and interpretation of scripture which is man-made, by the way. Uh, if you don't believe me, that's fine. But if you're going to if you're going to say, "Well, that's all good and said, Mark," but oh, here's a train coming on a bridge now. <laughs> I'm batting a thousand with this video. They're all claimed to be divinely inspired. They all can't be divinely inspired. But that's not the topic of this video. I'm not going to get into a debate about that. If that's how you feel and that's how you stand on things. And if you're searching for that perfect church, if you are searching for that church that is completely in line for everything that you believe, you're going to wait a long time and you're going to sit alone on Sundays. And you're going to be in your house all alone. And maybe what you should do is build a church in your backyard that only you can attend because you're the only person that's going to be there. If somebody comes up to you and claims that they have the answers that you're seeking, that you need to come and join their congregation because they are the know-all and see-all, I would run away from that person. If that person claims to have all the answers, he's lying to you. He's either a James Jim Jones or a David Koresh. How did those congregations end up? Do you know where I'm coming from? Do I need to get into that? Okay. There is no one solid church that's going to be healthy and robust and fulfill you in a way in which you need to be fulfilled. That said, if you are in a church right now where you have healthy relationships with the pastor and the congregation and all the programs that are affiliated and associated with your congregation, then maybe you should stay. In the meantime, what I would highly suggest to you is finding that feeding somewhere on your own, taking it upon yourself to find that scripture that maybe you don't agree with all the time and you've had settled the difference or you've tried to bury the hatchet with it maybe that's an answer you need to find on your own maybe a priest or a pastor or a church is not going to fulfill that for you and if that's the case 
that's all right. You're in good company because guess what? That's the study of Christianity. That is the history of Christianity. That's how it's always been done. People do things on their own. I realize this is a big question, and I'm trying to answer this in the best way I can. I am not a biblical scholar by any means. I am not a ordained minister by any means, and I am not an academic person who has credentials. Now, I have studied the Bible. I have studied Hebrew, Latin, Greek, and Aramaic for a very long time. I've got over 20 years in the study of Latin itself, but by definition, I am a poet, artist, slash YouTuber, <laughs> novelist, so my background is in classics. I had all the classics under my belt by the time I was 18 years old. I've been studying Latin for over 20 years, so I can read the Vulgate Bible, and I do. And Latin, the Bible in Latin is beautiful. But that said, that, you know, if you have those things already embellished in you, if, if it is already in your church, that is not any, re any reason to jump ship or throw out the baby with the bathwater, if you will. You're going to find that you're going to have struggles within your church. And just because that church does not represent every single thing that you believe, there, that's really not a clear indication that maybe you, sh you should leave because you're not going to find a church as such. You're not going to find that dream church. I'm sorry, it just doesn't exist. All these big churches, even the small ones, are based on hermeneutics. That's just the way it is. Scripture is based on hermeneutics. That's the way it is. We interpret Scripture to our liking. That's the way it is. There are verses in the Bible we don't understand. That's the way it is. There's no, you know, we, we, we lack, um, how can I say it? You know, we, we lack this answer to all answers. There, it, it's not there. It has never existed. I don't know who told you there, there is one out there, but there isn't. So why is it deafening to you? Why are you letting this be such a source of consternation? Do some research. Fulfill your own spiritual thirst. Sometimes a pastor or a priest isn't qualified to do that. You are an individual. You have an individual. You are unique. And maybe your problem is deeply unique. And maybe that is not going to be prescribed as, uh, you know, your, your problem isn't, doesn't have a healthy prescription by, me, by way of a pastor or even a church. Maybe where you're already at is exactly where you need to be. I don't know. I'm just telling you to explore the possibilities. And in the meantime, you can get your own fulfillments. You can take the responsibility upon yourself and fulfill your own spiritual needs. Sometimes the church isn't always the answer for that. Now, like taking myself, for instance, I, I am Eastern Orthodox. I live in a town here in Pennsylvania where, you know, Christian, the Christian church is very diverse. Christianity is very diverse here. We have Presbyterians, we have Methodists, Episcopalians, Roman Catholics. We even have Mormons. We have a Mormon church here. We have Jehovah's Witnesses. We have Jews and Muslims. We even have Hindus. So I live in a very diverse community. But that said, I, I'm not facing these issues. I do not have a big problem with my church in the event that I'm going to leave it because I disagree with doctrinal things. And let me tell you right now, I will perfectly tell you, honestly tell you, that I have a lot of issues with certain doctrines, but that's not enough to make me jump ship. You understand? If that is, if you are going into a church, here's something to look for, Okay. If you're going into a church and you are not permitted to speak your mind, you are not permitted to question a verse, you are not permitted to question a doctrine without being castigated or ostracized or marginalized, then you need to leave. Okay? You need to find somewhere else to worship. That's not a healthy, well-balanced church. They don't respect your opinion. They're just worried about administering their own agenda. They're not concerned about your spiritual being. They're not concerned even with your spiritual warfare. And you have spiritual warfare because you're a human being and you're an individual and God made you that way. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. Again, I don't want to split the atom on this because, I, you know, my religious beliefs are ancillary. I'm just a YouTube guy here, okay? I'm just making a video, but I just thought that this video would make an interesting topic. If those answers to you are not satisfactory, please consult somebody much more qualified than myself. Consult a rabbi, consult a priest, consult a pastor. Get with the people that are already in your church that you belong to, if you belong to a church, and address these issues properly. Don't be afraid to speak up, because if you are afraid to speak up, your issues are never going to be resolved. I hope this video helps people, okay? I, I kind of hope that, 
you know, you, you walk away with something. If anything, when you go to church on Sunday mornings, you should be learning something. Not only should you be spiritually fulfilled, but you should be learning something. But you shouldn't go there with the uh, presentation in your head that you have to fabricate and machinate things. That's not a healthy way to be in a church, and you should not be in a church that is making you or forcing you to do that in any kind of manner whatsoever. Your, your spiritual issues do matter, but sometimes the solution is staring you right in the face, and it's you. Okay? You need to understand that. A priest, a pastor, is not a know-all, see-all person. He is a person like you. Just because he has a degree on his wall does not mean that he has all the answers to what is wrong with everything in your life. The only person that can do that is you. Take it upon yourself. This is an important struggle. It's important for your family. It's important for you. And by the way, I want to say one more thing here before I close out this video. You have no right to dictate how your family worships. If your wife has a disagreement with you spiritually or even something about the Bible, you two need to sit down and discuss it, vice versa. Women, you're in the same category. If your husband is not in agreement with you, you two need to settle the score, if you will. You both need to be on the same page. And if you can't be on the same page, you're going to end up like my grandparents did. And what was that about? Well, my grandparents came from Germany. One was Lutheran and one was Catholic. Bitter rivals when it came to religion. They were married over 50 years when my grandfather died first. And when he died, he was placed in a regular cemetery. When my grandma passed, she was placed in a Catholic cemetery. Married all those years and they were split apart because of religion. I'm not asking you to feel sorry for me. I just thought that that story was relevant to maybe what some of you people are you know, what's going on in your life, and that could be the inevitable result that I don't want to see happen. Talk this out. Take a deep breath. Know that there is no church out there that is going to satisfy all your spiritual needs. The church isn't designed that way, and the Bible is not designed to have all the answers either. I remember an old biblical scholar that I used to study. I can't remember which one it was, but he had a great saying. You know what he said? While the Bible was written for us, it wasn't written to us. Let that sink in a little bit. You know, I told everybody, especially my new people that are watching my videos, I try to tell everybody, if anything, I want you to walk away from my videos to think. I want you to think for yourself. Don't agree with Mark Grego's YouTube channel. Don't watch Mark Grego's YouTube channel to get answers. Think for yourself. Do for yourself. Be creative. Be the person that God has put you on this earth to be. You matter. You're special. You're unique. And you can get through this. I wish everybody luck. I really do. And now I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this afternoon. I'm hoping to catch a carp in this mighty Ohio River. Hopefully I'll see a Mingo Indian. <laughs> Just kidding. May the God that you seek go with you. Done.